will find us. One coming. <coughs> Two rocks. Three rocks. Four rocks. Coming. Sure, you little rock. I found you. I know you're hiding behind there. Come on. Come on out. Oh, I bet you didn't see me. You're lying. I did so see you. You play unfair. I saw you run behind the rock after I counted five. The rock, you're not fair. I did see you run, so there you... You're horrible. Oh. Hey, little rock. Oh. He must have seen you. Hey, I can see someone coming. Hello, children. How are you? Do you live in the mountain village? Yes, we do. Where are you from? From the village on the other side of the fire mountain. Why have you come from so far away, huh? I've come to find an old man called the Wise One. Over there is where the old Wise One lives. This is the door. He does all our writing and reading. Wise One, you have a visitor. Wise One, Wise One. You there, wise one? Someone to see you. Much too early. Much too early. Tired. Been writing all night. Go away. A visitor? Well, tell him to go away. If there's another of Jumbo's poems to do, well, tell him I'll do it tomorrow. Hey. Yeah. Mm. Wake up! Wake up! Wake In the middle of the day. Get out! Come on! Wise one. What do you mean by waking me up like this? What do you mean? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Wise one, how do you do? I bring greetings from my father. <laughs> my name is Mason, and I'm the son of Scriber. Scriber? You mean from the village beyond the volcano? You mean to say you're the son of my old friend Scriber, hmm? Sir? Then come in, Mason. You're most welcome. Oh, thank you. Hey, come in, come in. Well, well, well. So you're Mason, the son of my old friend Scriber, eh? Hmm. Mm, you're a big boy, by golly. <laughs> you're the fine-looking fella, too, all grown up. Uh, thank you, wise one. <clears throat> my father often talks about the time when you used to study together. Yes, yes, we were fellow students. So he told me to come and visit you here, wise one. I'm studying the stars, and he told me that you know all about them. The stars, eh? Well, I know a bit about them. Interesting subject. Yes, my father says you're an expert, and you might have some good books about them. Well, I've made some observations of my own, and then I've written down the results and made drawings of the constellations, so you're welcome to take a look for yourself, my dear boy. Ah, uh, let's go and play. Yeah. And how is your father, Mason? Oh, very well, sir, but his eyesight isn't too good, and I'm studying to take over his learning from him. Ah, so you're going to take over from your father, eh? Excellent, excellent. Sir, I found some very good books here, and I'd like to borrow them. Then help yourself, my boy. So you're taking over, eh? Hmm. Someone to take over when you're old. Hmm. Uh, thank you for your kindness, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. And my regards to your father. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Yeah, uh, that'll teach you to bow every time you say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, watch it, watch it. Uh, 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 Are you all right, my boy? Uh, yes, thank you, sir. He's in for some heavy learning, by golly. <laughs> mm -hmm. His studies are going to take him far. <laughs> My old friend Scriber. I'm very lucky to have a son like that. If only Roman could take over from me. That's no good. <laughs> Thank you.
Roman, what are you doing? Making the wall stronger, Wildflower. I don't want the rain getting in while I'm gone. I'll be lonely while you're away. I'll only be away for two or three days. You know, around here and there. But isn't it getting a bit too late to leave? It'll be dark soon. I'll be walking in the moonlight. I'll be all right. Uh, would you take me with you? Ooh, someday I might. My eyesight isn't what it was, and what if I should die? Or a book falls on my head? Who'll do the reading and writing then, eh? Who'll carry on my life's work? What then, eh? I must teach that good-for-nothing Roman to take over from me, to learn! <laughs> Roman, it is getting late. You're right. It's later than you think, by golly. Roman, for too long I've suffered your aimless drifting about the world. I thought it might teach you to be a man, to broaden your knowledge. But all it's done is give you itchy feet. And now you don't want to settle down. What about me? What about me? But, but, Father, what have I done? It's what you haven't done, not like young Mason. Who's Mason? The son of my old friend Scriber. He's studying to take over from his father. I don't want to study. Eh? You ungrateful, no good, lazy boy, you! Eh. It's no good arguing. I'm going away to do my own kind of learning. Roman, wait, wait! I want you to be my student. You'll have to find someone else. Bye. All right, go. Hope you get lost, by golly. I'll walk with you a little way, Roman. I need a student. Someone to take over. I need a student. Ah. Why didn't I raise a boy like Mason? <laughs> Not like that no good son of mine. Young people. Ah. find someone to carry on for me, a successor, someone willing to learn the history and the wonders of the world. Ah, I don't know. A willing student, where? Just where? There must be someone, must be. Oh, hello, wise one. Isn't it a bit early for you to be around and about? It's such a beautiful day. I'm doing your laundry for you, wise know, one. I don't know at all. It's not quite ready know. yet. Hey, hey, are you a student? Hey, huh? Huh? What? You my successor? No, you're not. <laughs> Got to find somebody. Somebody, anybody. Yeah, a student, a student. How do you remember things if no one writes them down? And how will people learn if they can't read them? Saurus, if no one can read what I wrote about you, you won't be remembered. One. Eh? Jumbo? Hmm. Jumbo. Yes. Well, he's a big boy. Should have a big brain. Um. But it's a big dumb brain. Hmm. Oh, dear. Somewhere, somewhere, someone to teach. Eh? See who can blow them the farthest. I 
Pablo mine. Uh, come, come. Where are you going to blow it? What are you up to? Hi, <laughs> you just wait. I'll blow mine further. Oh. <laughs> come, come, you tricked us. <laughs> a smart boy, that come gum. Using the wind to make his seeds blow further. Must have a brain. Make a good student. Yes, yes, I wonder. <laughs> Oh, Wise one, tell me, just why do you want to make Kum Kum a student? Well, I need someone to follow in my footsteps, strong arm. I have a son, Roman, but what good is that wanderer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what good is writing and learning if there's no one to carry it on, to keep it going? The history of the Stone Age would be lost forever. Mm -hmm. Wise one, will you have a drink? Uh, well, I'm smoking. Oh, well, thanks. Yes. Like a drawer? Me? All right. Good health. Too strong. <clears throat> it would be a good thing for the village if we could find someone to carry on your work. Exactly. That's why I want to teach Kum Kum. Teach young Kum Kum? Come, come. Do it back. We'll do it back. Come on. Isn't it a bit too early, wise one? The sooner the better for learning. You gotta start them early. Come, come strong and smart, yeah. Well, it's nice to know you considered the boy, but I don't know. What do you think, Flora? Well, dear, I think it would be very good for Kum Kum to have such a teacher. Hmm. Mm. Kum Kum, I want you to come here a moment. All right. Kum Kum, how would you like to study with the wise one and learn all about the wonders of the world? Huh? What's it mean, study? Well, it means, it means, uh, it, it means you visit the wise one's house every day and he'll teach you a lot of interesting things. Yes, that's it, exactly. If it means listening to something interesting every day, I'll go, yeah. Good. You won't regret it, boy. <laughs> I found me a student. At last, at last. Now I have someone to carry on my work. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> well, now, come, come. Uh, we'll start your studies. But first I must tell you this. Study isn't going to be easy. You've got to think very hard. And the going's gonna get very tough. Do you follow me, boy? Mm-hmm. Very good, then. Now, you are going to learn everything I know, so one day you'll be the wise one and the wisest man in the village. And everyone will depend upon you. But you got to work hard, is that clear? Yep. Good. I'm sure you'll be a very good student. Follow me. Now, these are the first books we'll study. Careful, don't drop it on your toe. No. There. Now the next. Right. Lifting these books will make you strong like me. Yeah. All right. Now, let's take two at a time. It's you, a, a good idea. Now some more. Uh, some more. Yes, 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 yes. Two more. I think I'll just carry this one. Uh, hey, wise one, I think this study is a lot of fun. Study? This isn't study. We're just getting the books ready so we can start the study. Haven't started uh, yet. But I thought the day study was all over. Now, these are the stars that shine in the sky. But when we write about things like that, we use what we call symbols. Now, there's a mountain, and that's a river. Yeah, so it's just a sign that makes it look like a squiggly water, see, eh? So that's a man, and that's a moon. You've got it. Come, come, I can see you're going to be a very bright student. Tell me, wise one, when did you start growing your beard? That's got nothing to do with this. Now... The stars are made of stuff that makes them shine in the dark. Looking up at the stars can tell you many things. It can also tell you if you've got a pain in the neck from looking up at them. Hey, but stars make a very interesting study. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's go and look at them now.
You see, boy, some of the stars have given names. <laughs> Uh, names like... <laughs> uh, uh, let's go inside, boy. Uh, somehow or other, looking at the stars always makes me sneeze. Hush! 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 Come on! Hush. Now, the stars have something to do with the sun, and the sun has something to do with the moon, and the moon has something to do with the... Oh. Hey, 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 no sleeping, lots of study to do. Oh. <laughs> and the river is wet because it's made out of water. <laughs> it's so cheeky, kids. Butterfly and the boys. Never mind them now. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west, and up comes the moon. And so, uh, uh, come, come. Uh, come, come. Stop. You come back here and finish your study now. Now, the first star in the east is always near this one here. So I call them the married couple. And that one there always comes between them. And I call that the mother-in-law. <laughs> hey! Most interesting. And this little star over here I call the baby. Whenever you see him, he's having a twinkle. Yeah, this one. Wise one. Eh? Oh, you've still got that urn on your head for being naughty, eh? Wise one, can I go and get a drink of water? Water? Well, if you're not too long about it, now hurry back. All right. <laughs> Where is the boy? It must be a long drink. I'll go and have a look. <laughs> you kids, you... You cheeky kids, get out of here. You come back here. Don't you think we were clever to get you away from the wise one? Yeah. Whee! It was thanks to you all I got away from the wise one. Of all the ungrateful young puppies, unforgivable, doesn't know the meaning of study tricking me like that. I don't know why. Don't... Again! Come on! Come on. Come on. Again. Come on. Come on. There they are. Come on, Bumble. Climb up. Come, come. Come down. Come down here at once. Ah! I'm suffering, suffering. My head aches, my face hurts, my stomach's flat, my hands, my arms, oh. Father, it was your own silly fault for thinking you could teach Kum Kum. Raman, so you're back. It was all because of you in the first place. <laughs> but don't you realize that Kum Kum's only a child? And he's far too young to become a student. Now, there's a dumb statement. When I was Kum Kum's age, I was a great scholar. I had a diploma, still got the rockets written on. Is that true? Would I tell you a lie? Wait, 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 Roman, where are you going? Wait, wait. Don't touch those books. They are my private and personal family records. No, no, Roman, not that one. No, 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 not, not that, no. Oh. This is the diary that was written by my grandfather. He wrote down here a lot of things about my father, the wise one, when my father was a little boy. A little boy the age of Kum Kum. No, no, Roman. No. And according to my grandfather, it says here that my son, wise one, was only wise in the ways of getting into mischief every day and being very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Come, come. Let's forget the studies for a while, eh, son? It's time we were going, Roman. I think that might be the best. Come, children. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go. It's just the same floor. I feel sorry for the old man. Good night, Father. Please forgive me. I tried to be a good student. I know, come. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night.
Wasn't it funny about the wise one? <laughs> yes, it was really, but we're all boys once. Papa, I wonder if you were like that once. Hmm? And wet the bed. <laughs> I'm not saying. Come, come. What are you doing? Just looking at the stars. At the stars? Those two stars are called a married couple. The wise one taught me that. I was a good student. <laughs>